Hello, today I want to talk a bit about portable applications for Linux, especially Ubuntu. A portable application essentially is an application that runs from any location, such as a USB thumb drive, without the need for being installed in the system. This has been very hard to do for Linux so far, and I'm working on a little application called Malhir, which will make creating portable applications very, very easy. Now, Meltier is just a code name, but I want to give you a little preview on the software now. So when I launch Meltier, it allows me to just install software as usual. Let's say apt get install gobby which is a little text editor. And as you can see, this will install not only Gobby, but also additional libraries. So I'm installing this, just as usual. And if I go back to Mel here, it will scan the entire hard disk for any changes that have been made during the installation. And as you can see here, it's noticed that all these libraries and the Gobby application were installed. And it's captured this into a special directory, which I'm opening now. So this is the directory, as you can see, contains bin Gobby, for example, but it also contains all the libraries that came with Gobby. Now, let's go ahead and let's package this directory as a portable application. It's asking me for the main executable, which is USR bin Gobby in this case. And let's just give it a great name, for example, home Ubuntu gobby.cmg. Let's go ahead and save it. What this does is it creates a single file that contains the entire application. Now if I go to my home directory, here it is, gobby.cmg. And this is a file, an executable file, that is a bit less than a megabyte in size, and it contains in compressed form the Gobby application together with everything that was installed, including libraries, etc. So what happens if I run this? Gobby runs. Now you will say this isn't something special as Gobby is still installed in the system, and you're absolutely right. So let's remove Gobby now. apt get remove Gobby. It's now being uninstalled from the system. Let's see what happens if I run this file now. Gobby still runs. Now, wait a minute. When I installed Gobby, some libraries were installed along with it, as you can see here. So if I do apt get auto remove, all these libraries will be uninstalled as well from the system. So now my system is back to the original state just as before I installed anything. Let's try Gobby again. And sure enough, it still runs. This is because this file here contains not only the application, but everything that was installed along with it. Right, you can now take this file and share it with a friend, send it via email, put it on the internet, and everyone who downloads it just has to double click, press execute, and Gobby will run in a real portable fashion. So now I've created my first portable application for Linux.